times here. P, P plus 8, P plus 16 are all prime numbers. If P is less than 1000, what is the largest possible value of P into P plus 1? P, P plus 8, P plus 16 are all prime numbers. Interesting. P could be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. I am just thinking about prime numbers. If P were 2, 2 plus 8 is 10. P, P plus 8, P plus 16. P could be 2, 2 plus 8, 10. This plus 8, 18. These are not prime, less than what? I'm going to put 3, 11, 19. 3 plus 8, 11. 3 plus 16 is 19. Yeah, that works. 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 5 plus 16 is 21. 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. 23. Plus 8, plus 8. 11, plus 8, 19, plus 8, 27. 13, plus 8, 21, plus 8, 29. And so on. Less than 1000, I cannot obviously write all numbers. Right? 3, 11, 19 are all prime. This works. 5, 13, 21 is not prime. A multiple of 3. 7, 15, 23 is not prime. 15 is not prime. 7, 15, 23, that doesn't work because 15 is not prime. 11, 19, 27. 13, 21, 29. Not prime. I've got this. I have got only one answer so far. I am already worried. Maybe there are not that many answers, that many numbers. 13 didn't work. I want to find one more number so that I can be confident and then, and then build from there. So after 13, I am going to think about 17. 17 plus 5, 25. 33. This is not prime. This is not prime. 19. 19 plus 8, 27. 27 plus 8, 35. This is not prime. This is not prime. 23. 31. 39, not prime. 29, 37, 45, not prime. I'm getting worried. I've tried so many prime numbers. Starting, if P is prime, P plus 8, P plus 16, at least one of them is not prime. In some cases, both are not prime. But generally, at least one of them is not prime. I'm beginning to get worried. I'm beginning to get worried so much that now I think this is the only possibility. Right? Then now I'm going to say, okay, maybe this is the only possibility. I look to prove that. I'm going to find a pattern here. The multiple of 3, 5, 3, 3, 5, 3, multiple of 3, multiple of 5, multiple of 3, multiple of 3 and 5. I notice that generally 3 and 5 come up trumps, but always 3 comes. The multiple of 3, 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 multiple of 3. So it looks like Multiple of 3 is a problem for me. Always some multiple of 3 sitting inside. Now I am going to reverse this question, flip this question and say, hey, can I now look to prove that of P, I am going to draw the number line. I have P here, P plus 8 here, P plus 16 here. Nice. I have a sense that this has got something to do with multiples of 3. Right. Wonderful. So I'm going to go in steps of three. Right. Steps of three. So p, p plus three, p plus six, p plus nine, like that, or p plus eight. Subtract three from it. I'll go to p plus five. Subtract three from it. I'll go to p plus two. Likewise, p plus sixteen. Subtract three, 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 three. If you subtract five threes. I'll go to p plus 1. Right? Why am I doing this? Because I want to think in terms of p, p plus 1, p plus 2. These are three consecutive integers. Three consecutive integers. One of them has to be a multiple of 3. Any three consecutive integers. 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 109, 110, 111. It doesn't matter. Three consecutive integers. One of them has to be a multiple of 3. So p, p plus 1, p plus 2, one of them has to be a multiple of 3. Or p, p plus 16, p plus 8, one of them has to be a multiple of 3. Why? p plus 2 plus 6 is p plus 8. p plus 1 plus 15 is p plus 16. So p, p plus 1, p plus 2, one of them is a multiple of 8, multiple of 3. p, p plus 16, p plus 8, one of them is a multiple of 3. If these numbers are, one of them is a multiple of 3, they cannot be prime. So 
So P P plus one P plus two cannot all be prime. P P plus sixteen P plus eight cannot all be prime. Why? Because one of them has to be a multiple of three. If it's a multiple of three, it cannot be prime. Is there any exception? Yes, there is a beautiful exception. What is that exception? Three. There is one multiple of three that is prime. So it could be three, nineteen, and eleven. Where the P is itself a multiple of three, but still prime. I have one number that's a multiple of three and prime. Three itself. The only way P P plus eight P plus sixteen can have a prime number among them is if P very equal to three. Or, but interestingly. This is not a possibility. This is the possibility. There is only one possibility of p such that p p plus eight and p plus sixteen all three are prime. Therefore, p has to be three. So, what is the largest possible value of p into p plus one? What is the value of p into p plus one? Three into three plus one nine plus one ten. P p plus eight p plus sixteen cannot all be prime. At least one of them, or one of them, not at least one of them. One of them has to be a multiple of three. If one of them has to be a multiple of three, that cannot be a prime number. So p p plus eight p plus sixteen cannot all be prime, except except if p very equal to three or p equal to three. Not a possibility. This is the only possibility. Let me get through.